Hey y'all, welcome to Catching Kiara. I'm super excited. I'm touching up my hair. I don't have my bundles and inches on this photo shoot, but I'm super excited because it's so amazing. Thank you again for um, staying connected. Y'all have subscribed. Y'all sharing it with your family members. Y'all clicking the bell, clicking the thumbs up, all of that good stuff. And shout out to those of y'all that's clicking the thumbs down too or whatever. But all of you who have been supporting me, I love y'all and I'm so excited about what's happening in my life and I hope that amazing things are happening in your life as well. 2019 is about to be lit and I hope that it ain't just a year. I hope that it's just a lifetime kind of thing for me. So here we go. I'm going to make the big announcement at the end of it. But today I'm going to talk to you about your dreams. Now, not settling and just still going forward so whatever you've laid down pick it back up if you're still thinking about it it can still happen so let's get into the day So in case you don't know, as a reminder, this is me doing um, a quick photo shoot for 1160. You can shop Curvy Gals at www.my1160.com from sizes 12 to 24. And it's all for you. So if you like this dress, it is now available um, at my1160.com. But I have some amazing news for you. We are now launching on Macy's! Woo! That's the announcement, and I have some notes here. For those of you who have a dream and you feel like you don't have all of your ducks in a row, I think that's how they say it, step out on faith. All I had was a friend, my faith, and an idea, and I followed through with it. So if there's a dream that you put down, um, pick it back up. If you're still thinking about it, then that's God saying that it's still possible. So I just wanted to encourage you guys um, just on not settling for anything less. So I'll keep talking to you about it and giving you some pointers while I'm working. But that's tip one. Don't settle for less. And if you put it down, pick it back up. Let's get it. wonder why you know why did I want to do this no it's not just for the money however money is all right not don't get twisted but I wanted to do it because I have a passion for curvy women I'm a big girl and I don't always see clothes out there that actually caters to us though it says that the average American woman is a curvy woman I don't feel like everything is out there just yet and that doesn't say that 1160 is going to provide everything but the goal is to provide almost everything you understand what I'm saying? But the goal is also to provide quality. And um, I also wanted to do this because at the end of the day, the first thing that sparked everything was my singing career. And I always want to look good when I'm on stage. My father's taught me, make sure you're not wearing anything that causes a distraction to your message or anything like that. And so I just always wanted to present myself well because I was taught that I'm like a walking billboard for whatever it is that I stand for, what I represent. And then not just that, but for every young woman and young man that has a dream, um, sometimes we think because we are believers, we have to box ourselves in. But I'm like, no, go for it all. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. So it all belongs to him. And if he's, if he's my father, then that, that means that I can do anything. I can do anything. Yeah. I'm going to go from God to Beyonce and Jay-Z, but y'all get the message, right? Balance. But um, I have in my notes, it's to prove that you can dream big and not play it safe while being a follower of Christ. So I hope you're inspired. And um, please support me. Please go shopping. Flood Macy's.com um, so that they can know that it's someone like you who follow through with their dreams. And if you're inspired, please make a purchase. If you can't fit the clothes, buy it for Auntie Ray Ray Poo Poo, whoever it is. Everybody got an Aunt Regina. Find her in your bloodline. Your bloodline. I'm sure she can wear the clothes. I love y'all, and I'll be back. Yeah. The other reason I wanted to do this is because not everybody that you're assigned to is necessarily like in that arena that you're used to. So I wanted to go out of my comfort zone and go into a new marketplace to 
possibly share the joy of the Lord, the love of Christ in a different way. Not where I'm always like, hey, God's got something for you. It's just how do you live it? You, know, you don't always have to preach it. Um, the other day I was coming out of Coney Island and somebody was like, it's just something special about you. Just randomly. I hadn't had a conversation with them or anything. And um, it was a lady, so it wasn't a guy flirting. Well, yeah, okay. So we were talking and she just went on to say, you know, hey, you have a glow about you and it's a light. It's just a light that's just around you. And that inspired me to want to go in different places and not just in the four walls of the church, but to go where we think it's impossible to share the gospel um, because as followers of Christ, that's what we're supposed to do. However, the dream is big, you know? My purpose is beyond me. Um, I think Ha Ha Davis said that, shout out to him. But it's beyond you. It's beyond what you think it is. So I hope that you're inspired again to just really go after the dream. Don't stop. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter what you look like, like what it looks like. Don't try and have all of the pieces. Because like I said, my friend sent me a link. Shout out to Keisha. She sent me a link and she was seeking opportunities for herself and she ran into something which goes back to having friends. Like, what are, what are your your friendships like? Do you have friends that are like, oh, this would be perfect for such and such. May not be for me, but it'll be, it'll be good for her. So you wanna have friends too that have you on your mind that's praying for you, have you on their mind and that's praying for you. So that goes back to who we have around us and just remembering that it's every kingdom idea and like the business, all of that is always beyond us. Even the biggest millionaire, obviously. It's beyond them. So go for it. I just wanted to share that. So it's a wrap. I'm excited. Thank y'all again for liking the video, um, clicking the notifications button, the bell. Click all of that so we can stay in contact. I hope you're enjoying the videos. And again, I hope you're inspired. So the points that were popping and hoping to get you back to it, but to believe again, was... Um, Sometimes we'll be worried. Sometimes we'll be like, oh, I don't have everything together. Um, but I have it here in my notes. I was worried and I didn't have all of the needs, but God handled the rest. And everything just, it just was good. It was good. But I put some work to my faith. Put some action to your faith. Don't just be talking about, oh, God's going to do it, honey. Yes, he's going to do it. But you got to do something too, right? And then the other thing was all I had was a friend, an idea, faith, and the guts to actually do it. So that's all you got to have. I mean, well, don't get me wrong. Once you start establishing things, other things have to come into place, and that's when we start educating ourselves to make sure we have um, the equipment or to be well-equipped, which the word says we already have. We are that. But to just make sure we have the resources, the people around us who know the ins and outs so that we can be a self-sustaining company. Um, and sometimes we're like, well, how do I make contacts with them? Listen, if you're a nice person, you will welcome the solution to your problems. So be nice. Don't be mean, be in the right room, start informing yourself on the rooms that you need to be in, and the Lord will make sure you're like connected to whoever you need to be connected to. It can just sometimes be a simple hi, or you just wanna pick somebody's brain. Um, and then the last note was, don't settle, and when, the ha when it happens, keep dreaming and go for bigger. So this ain't it, like I'm already like, okay, what's next? Actually, they just ask me what's next. So you got to just keep going. Like, don't settle and don't, um, you know, get like a complacent kind of mindset. Like, always figure out, okay, what else do I need to do to make this better? And not looking at what everybody else is doing, but just kind of competing with yourself, which a lot of us have been saying lately. I said that was the last note. I sound like an old, a long-winded preacher. Like, this is my first closing, but here's my, my for real last closing. Um, the goal is to show people that I've never met the joy of the Lord and happiness with him, and to prove that you can dream big and not play it safe. I said that already, while being a follower of Christ. So go for it. 1160 is on Macy's.com. So make sure you go there and you order your stuff or whatever. Okay? If I did it, you can do it. And I'm telling you, it can happen. And more is to come. It's about to be on and popping. Let's get it.